This time we will talk about investment problems. So look at this question. A woman has a total of 9,000 to invest. She invests part of the money in an account that pays 8% interest per year and the rest in the account that pays 9% per year. If the combined interest on in the first year is $750, how much did she invest in each account? Okay, so when you look at this question, you need to um, find out two different information. So one information will be her investing money. The other information will be interesting earning money here. Okay, then now, how to set up investing amount so i can see this is total investing amount this is the total earning interest amount so this will be part of the interest rate this will be part of how much she input uh, into on each account right so i'm gonna set up one account will be X, the other one is Y. I don't know how much she input in an X account or Y account, but obviously we know that total become 9,000, right? So let's set up X is 8%. And then y becomes 9%. Based on 8% and 9%, she earned this amount of money. Then how to find interest in money? So whatever you invest, you can make equations 0.08x plus 0.09y equal to 700. $50. So, next step here. Now we want to find out uh, each amount. So, so far we have two different variables. I'm going to make with only one variable. So, from this equation, I want to, I want to solve for either x or y. It is totally up to you, and in this case up to me, I will solve for y. So y become 9000 minus x. Okay, then, now I can replace y as this amount, which means you input this amount into here. Okay, then this equation become point 0.8x plus 0.09y, but we know y become this one, so 9000 minus x equal to 750. If you are good at calculating decimal, then just do it, but it is always better you switch to integer value. So as you see, two decimal digit, two decimal digit. So we are moving each one to one, two. And one, two. And now this one, you must put two more zeros. Why? Because 750 means 750, comma, zero, 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 whatever. Now we are moving two more digits. You are also observe two more digits here. So this becomes 75,000 instead. Okay? So now I can rewrite this equation. 8x plus 9, 9,000 minus x equal to 750, I mean 75,000. So, next step we distribute. Then 8x plus 81,000 
minus 9x equal to 75,000. On the left side, we see two different x terms, so we can combine like term. Then this become negative x plus 81,000 equal to 75,000. So we want to isolate x term alone, so subtract 81,000. Then negative x become negative 6,000. So divide by negative 1, so x becomes 6,000, which means y becomes 3,000. Why? Because x plus y must be 9,000. So, x equals 6,000, then y becomes 9,000 minus 6,000 and become 3,000. So, we found she invested 6,000 for 8% account, 3,000 for 9% account. Let's look at one more question. Melissa has a total of 14,500 in two accounts. One account pays 6.5% simple interest per year, and the other pays 8% simple interest. If she earned $1,077.50 in interest in the first year, how much did she invest in each account? So basically the same question as previous one. Now, uh, we can set up x plus y equal to 14,500 and 0.065x plus 0.08y equal to 1,077.50. Okay, so same way. I'm going to solve one variable from here, always for y. I just usually do for y. Then y equal to 14,500 minus x. Then do you remember the next step? Yeah, we plug this into here. Then this equation becomes 0.065x plus 0 0.08 times 14,500 minus x equal to 1,077.50 50 cents here. Now, I count decimal digit. You see 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2. So this is the biggest, largest decimal digit. So we move everything to three digits. Then this becomes 65x plus 80 times 14,500 minus x equal to 1077500. Okay? So, what could be next step? Yes, we distribute. Then this becomes 65x plus maybe one one million one hundred sixty thousand minus eighty x equal to one million seventy seven thousand five hundred. Okay? And then combine light term. So sixty five x minus eight x then this become negative 15x plus 1160000 equal to 1077500. We want to isolate x term. So subtract 1,160,000. Then this becomes 
negative 15 x equal to negative 82,500. Now, last step, divide by negative 15. Then you will get x equal to 5,500. Okay, then y means we define that 14,500 minus x. So 14,500 minus 5,500. Then total becomes 9,000. So this case, Melissa invested 5,500 for 6.5% 6 account and $9,000 for 8% account.